Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is The Baga Mills by Manly P. Hall. An article from Horizon, Volume 12, Number 3, Winter, 1952. The Baga Mills. This ancient religious community originated in Bulgaria prior to the 10th century, but so heretical were its teachings that few documents have survived. The founder of the sect was probably a priest named Bogomil, who had come under the influence of the Manichaean philosophy about AD 950. It is likely, however, that some elements of the doctrine were survivals from earlier beliefs. Through the kindness of a friend, we are able to present a brief summary of the sect translated from the Bulgarian. The Bogomils rejected everything which related to the material world, including their own bodies, which they considered to be the creations of an evil power and an ever-present source of sin. They performed extreme austerities to punish the flesh and overcome worldliness. Their food was of the plainest kind, chiefly vegetables, but they were permitted to eat fish. They rejected meat and wine entirely. The members dressed simply and wore long black caps like monks, and when passing strangers hid their face. They recognized the necessity for labor, but worked only to support their barest necessities, believing that accumulation of wealth or property was inspired by the evil power. They disliked to engage in any activity which contributed to the satisfaction of bodily instincts. They favored the attitude of living directly from the abundance of nature. The Bogomils were opposed to marriage because they believed that it gratified the urges of the flesh. They considered children born into the world came under the influence of the evil agent when their bodies were formed. They did not forbid marriage, however, but favored a solitary existence. They cultivated a humble and peaceful attitude and were known as a pale, silent people. They talked but little, never laughed loudly, were not curious or suspicious, and guarded themselves constantly against pride. In substance, they devoted their time to fighting the instincts of the flesh in a devout effort to free their souls. They devoted most of their time to reading their religious books, the Holy Scripture, and in the act of prayer. They acknowledged only the New Testament and prayed many times daily. They had no churches or temples, and the Lord's Prayer was their favorite religious exercise. The Bogomils rejected church sermons and sacraments, favoring only their own type of spiritual baptism, which was bestowed upon new members. They were opposed to icons, idols, sacred pictures, and even symbols of the cross, as these were outward indications and not the substance of the doctrine. The Bogomils rejected the church hierarchy and despised the laws of the state because these catered to the priesthood and the aristocracy. They refused to engage in war, would not take oath, and did not recognize any sentence or punishment imposed by vested authority. They condemned the rich, ridiculed the nobles, and considered sober citizens little better than slaves. They had their own communities and their own hierarchy patterned after the example of the original apostles. At the head of their organization was a chief or master and twelve apostle preachers. For each district in which they flourished, they elected a bishop. The Bogomils believed in one God, Father of all, and Creator of the whole world. However, the Creator and Ruler of the material universe and a man is Satanel the eldest son of the great godfather. This son, because of pride and accompanied by other lesser spirits, separated himself from God and was cast from heaven. He was then replaced by the younger son of Godfather, who was the Word, Jesus Christ. After all this had occurred, Satanel, who had dominated over the visible creation, brought forth the earth and created the first man. He could not ensoul this man, however. And so an arbitration took place. The heavenly God bestowed the living soul, and Satanel agreed to dominate only the bodies of the first man and his descendants. These souls were to be given to God in order that he might replenish the heavenly host, which had been diminished by the departure of the fallen angels. Satanel did not keep his promise out of envy towards God, and tempted by the beauty of the first woman, Eva, he took on the appearance of a snake 
united with her and produced the evil Cain and his sister Kalamina. Then Adam united with Eva and Abel was born. Cain killed his brother. And from that time on, the children of Satanel persecuted and destroyed the spiritual children of God. The destruction was not very great, however, because there was very few who resisted the evils of Satanel. Finally, the Heavenly Father took pity upon his people and, and sent his second son to fight Satanel and to save humanity. The Bogomils then followed the account of the birth, life, and passion of Christ. The son of the virgin bound Satanel and made it possible for the generations of humanity to enter the heavenly kingdom. To earn this right, however, they must restore themselves from all the material evils caused by Satanel and to be found worthy to be accepted into the world of God. After he had finished this mission, Christ returned to heaven and sat again with his father. This philosophy sustained the Bakamils through long and numerous persecutions. Their interpretation and the devotion with which they pursued the code which they had fashioned caused the sect to be included among the most curious of human beliefs. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.